Hey guys, we have many people that are looking for remote neurofeedback training and they consult us, we are specialized on neurofeedback and they ask can they do a training at home simultaneously to an existing therapy um, with a therapist or as a standalone um, therapy or mental fitness training. And we decided to go with two different systems. Um, both systems have their pros and cons and I very transparently and honestly want to give you what makes sense in what situation. Also from a cost perspective, but also from how technical um, are you, how much um, time are you willing to invest also in getting some knowledge about neurofeedback or biofeedback. Let's start with the more simple system. The most simple, more simple system is based on a tablet or mobile device. This can also be your iPhone, uh, so an iOS device uh, or a tablet and on the Muse headband. Some people might have heard about the Muse headband. It's a um, um, portable um, EEG amplifier and you can just place it on your head. And it also works with the existing Muse app, which is for free if you buy the device. And the Muse app is rather for guided meditation based on uh, some data that is collected with this hardware. To be honest, um, just as a standalone, this device has some problems when you do want to do a real neurofeedback training. The electrodes in the very front on your forehead, these are the only electrodes that can measure your brain's activity. And here's where I, or we as experts, want to give you an honest opinion. People tend to get a lot of biased signals when they just use these electrodes. Simple um, reasons for that, you have sweat on your forehead, you move your eyes and you blink, then the shifts when you lean back, you have makeup. So there's a lot of stuff that can compromise the EEG that's being measured. Also, on this part of the brain, there's not the most exciting parts uh, to do a neurofeedback training on, to keep it very simple. So you might, or you don't might, you wanna be on the central lobe, frontal lobe, or parietal lobe, but not the super uh, frontal part here. This is why there is another app or software developer called MindLift. And with this, you use an external electrode. So you put this electrode via USB connected to your muse, and you have this electrode. All you need is some sticky conductive paste. Um, this is a set we would send you or you buy it your own hardware and we just send you the electrode and the sticky paste. You place this on your head and then based on your protocol, I will come to that part, you place it either central, so above your ears, or parietal where your hair kind of twists. Now how does this work? Imagine you want to do a neurofeedback training with that device. So as I said, you will contact us, we can send you the entire hardware that you rent or you already have your iPhone, your tablet, and maybe you want to buy a Muse or rent just a Muse. You need the Excel electrode though and the peeling paste. And then me as a therapist, we have a video chat or a video call and we see how we can help you. So set up the, the right training protocol. I, as a therapist, I do this in the back end. So I set the right training protocol. All you need to do is just start the app, connect the headband via Bluetooth, and then automatically log in with your user. And then the training protocol automatically starts. This system, as you can see, is meant to be simple. So for you as a user, the pros is you just need a tablet or a phone and you can basically start right away. Um, this is the upside. The downside or the risk is this is not the Muse is a non-FDA approved device. So we customize the external electrodes, so it's a medical German medical product, but still this is a simple device. And for me as a therapist, uh, it's hard to read read out from you know my, my workspace your EEG data. So this is rather, I would say not a, for a medical treatment, it's rather for if you have a mental training or do some mindfulness exercise and you want to go the extra mile, then this is a nice system or you want to maintain something or do it parallel to an existing therapy. Then this is an easy way. You don't need to read some, some books or anything and you don't need to be a, a huge techie to understand how to use it. That's the upside. But downside is it's not 
rather medical. So if you look for a treatment or a serious neurofeedback training, then we decided to go with a second um, option. The second option is rather simple and, and yet complicated at the same time. What we did is we will give or we give our patients the same system we use in our medical practice here. In our medical practice just here in Munich, we do around 30, 35 hours of neurofeedback a day. So we know how this works and we rely on this system, which are all medically certified parts from the electrode, the cables to the EEG amplifier. This is how an EEG amplifier looks like. This is a more simple version. Um, they are both medical products. Um, this bigger device can measure also biofeedback channels, but this also gets the job done. How this then works is you have some cables, you plug it in into the device. You need this fancy looking rubber cap. You can also glue the electrodes, but still for the electrodes, if you have a couple of them, then it takes a little bit of time. So what you need to do is you just place these, uh, this rubber cap at home. Then you have these electrodes. Then these you need to place in the right position. Plug in the cables and then use a Q-tip and do some peeling to get a good signal. Now you don't need a tablet for this training device. You will need some more hardware. So this is where it gets a little bit more complicated as you can see, but we have videos for that, how to do a correct peeling, how to place the cap, very uh, detailed videos on that. So what you can now do is you need a Windows computer. We can send you one, but every Windows computer works. We can log into your, onto your computer and install the software. What now happens is you need a second screen, obviously. So one computer here is to supervise the training protocol and you will use, and this is the pro of this, you will use the exact same software we use. So you can play the exact same sophisticated um, programs and games we do in our practice. As I said, you kind of need to click your way through. Again, we have videos that show you click by click how to get it started. And obviously, we have an onboarding call. Then you hook up a second monitor. This is where you see the feedback. And one person, your friend, your parents, or your children, supervise the training. We will copy the right training protocol on your computer. There are optimized protocols. There are also protocols you manually need to adjust. Um, and then you can play the same uh, training, do the same training we do in our practice. So you can even watch Netflix, uh, Disney+, Plus, Amazon, and have a dimmer on top of it and also have the loudness, the volume turned up or down. So it gives you a huge variety of possibilities to also make your training very exciting, very sophisticated. But again, you, you kind of need to, to manage or you kind of need to... Um, to balance, do I want a rather simple system, which might not be a therapy replacement, um, or do I want to invest some more time? Again, there's videos and, and some PDFs, and, and have the professional system at home. At the end, there is no right or wrong answer. We need to schedule a call or write some emails, get to know your training goals or your problems or what you want to improve in, and then see what is the right fit for your needs. Overall, with both devices, it's not, it's just like learning how to ride a bike, how to swim, get your driver's license. It's not that you do it for two weeks and then you're Einstein. You need to stick for, to it for two or three months at least. Some people do it for six months. It's, it depends on your situation and your training goals. There will be progress, but you just need to invest some time and you need to do it once, twice a week. Some people do it three times a week, which is intense, but it's okay. And so we should have a call and discuss more details there.